Let's talk Rams. They are, guys, the second team to play the Super Bowl in their home stadium. We know what happened with the Bucks last season. So, Kyle, different year. How much of an advantage is it for this L.A. squad to be playing right here? Well, I'll ask my friends uh, out here on the field. How'd you guys sleep last night? Awful. Awful? <laughs> Awful. Peter, you get some nice sleep? Get some nice REM sleep? Trying to figure it out. Yeah. You slept right. like a baby, though. Yeah, I slept great. <laughs> I can do it for some reason. Uh, the four of us here came from the Eastern time zone all the way over to Los Angeles. Cincinnati Bengals are playing the Eastern time zone. Come all the way out to Los Angeles and uh, got to stay in some hotel. They got to wear in these, these strange roads with strange names and a strange stadium. I never would have thought it would be significant. I was actually, I was poo-pooing on this. But last year, Peter was soapboxing the hell out of it. You really were, Peter. And I thought you were selling this thing about they're going to stay in their own beds and their own homes. And you really went for it. And then we saw what Tampa did last year. And look, maybe it's because the Chiefs had zero offensive linemen, but I really do think there was a comfort there. <laughs> last year, I was a cynic about this. This year, we're living it. Last year, we saw it. I do think it is significant. However... <laughs> However, you're doing your own tale of the tale. However, right yeah, I'm going to the other side. <laughs> the Bengals are also in a shooter's rhythm. Yeah. A shooter's rhythm of this is what we do. Every single week, we get on a plane, we go to somebody's house, and we kick their ass. And we stay in a hotel, <laughs> and we get on the bus. Every single week, we've done this. D'Angelo, creatures of routine. Every week, they've stayed in a hotel, they've packed a suit, they've had their game, and they keep winning. So, I think the only thing that I wish I could say for the Bengals, I wish they could have played this game a couple days ago on Sunday. The only thing I don't like about the Bengals is not that they have to travel. This team, they got to wait two weeks and their, their hands are going to get cold. Give them the ball now. In most situations, I would buy into it. I'd say, oh my God, going on the road, huge disadvantage against the home team. This Bengals team might be different. You know what, Kyle? I mean, I, I hear you. I hear you. This Bengals team is different. Um, but it's something about, you know, these creatures of habit, uh, you know, us as athletes. Yeah. We love having things be the same. Okay. And so for this Rams football team, everything's the same. And I mean, you just mentioned it, right? Peter talked about it last year, talking about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I think a big reason that they won that football game, you know, you had an offensive lineman. You know, Kansas Fine. City was, you know, depleted on the offensive line. But at the same time, it's knowing that nothing really changes for you. You, you know, your family comes in. A lot of times you're at your house. It's just so much easier to manage everything else when you're home, when you already understand uh, 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 the traffic patterns, when you are, uh, already understand the, the restaurants you know you already want to eat at, it takes all that other kind of stress and pressure I'm away. We already know the football stuff. game is going to be the football game. Uh -huh. Like, that's the easy part. It's that week of preparation mm -hmm. leading up to the game. You know, the, like, like you said, Cincinnati, they're going to travel, they're going to go play a game. That's the easy part is the game. It's everything else the week. All the distractions, sure. all the parties. But I mean, the it's Rams Super Bowl, have, the Rams guys. have just as many distractions. But it's, it's not like they're and, going and they're to, used to This week this is stuff. not normal to the Rams, even though they're home, Shregs. January 25th was when they beat the Buccaneers. Mm. They have slept in their beds and been in their homes Do it, every Peter. day Do it. since January 25th. <laughs> we are going to be playing a game on February 13th, and they're going to be saying, all right, it's just the same time, same pattern. I know my pillows. I know my sheets. And, you know, I'm going to get up for a second, and Go I'm going to do a little small taste. This stadium right yeah. here, okay? The Rams have not only played eight regular season games here, they've played two playoff games here, they've played two preseason games here. Mm. They've played 12 games in that stadium. So when you walk oh. into that colossal thing with the, the Oculus and the whole, the whole amazing bells and whistles, the Rams are like, that's our field. Yeah. The Bengals are walking into that stadium and a lot of them might be like, this is the freaking Super Bowl. And look at this stadium. Mm -hmm. I, I think there's a little bit of a factor. Mm -hmm. It's the home field, it's all the rest. They're gonna be in the same hotel the night before the game that they spent every single night before every single regular season. They know uh, the Starbucks barista's name in the lobby. They, they know. I, I know it. Kyle and Peter are big movie buffs. Go on. And so uh, catch me if you can, right? Leonardo sure. DiCaprio, yeah. his, Frank dad, now. His, his dad sitting there saying, why do the Yankees always win, right? And he's, I don't know, they got, they got all these, you know, he was naming some players. Like yeah. I was about to name Joe DiMaggio. I can't even remember who, sure. what players he named. But his dad said no. It's because every team who comes out there, they're mesmerized by the stripes. Yeah, them pinstripes. Them pinstripes, right. man. Mm -hmm. That's a, a pinstripe. That's a pinstripe right there. That's that is a pinstripe. Pinstripe. That pinstripe. That can distract you. Guys are, you guys are talking about what it's going to be like. The Rams, yeah. it's going to be a complete, it might be in this place, but it's in a completely different feeling. Obviously, it's an advantage to know, what was it? I know my pillows. I know my sheets. I like that, Shrek. <laughs> I understand that very much. But 
it, it's not a determining factor in this game, right? So what do we think as far as how big of an advantage is it when you look? I mean, experience is way more of a determining factor, right? Because the Rams have that in spades versus the Bengals. That's what it is. You've got, ele- what is it, 11 guys or 13 guys on yeah. this Rams squad that have had Super Bowl experience. One dude on the entire Bengals roster. That's more of a determining factor than playing here 12 games. I don't know, Ken. Really? Really? Yeah. I think that's a real advantage. That's their DJ too. on the mic. That is their introductions. Like, well, I think we saw it in Tampa last is year. Is it or does the end? It was it all the Bucks regular things? Like they didn't, I they didn't, didn't think it was the fans. They weren't shooting the cannons. The uh, only difference the is the fans. Mm-hmm. In the fan, in, in a Super Bowl mm-hmm. is not your fans. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's whoever buys the ticket. Mm-hmm. And so that, you know, when you say the stadium, it, it, to me it's not the stadium and, oh, yeah, I got a home yeah. field advantage. But the it's Super just, Bowl is all fans. It's just the comfort of understanding and knowing where everything is and not feeling stressed about anything. Mm-hmm. You know, I remember walking in stadiums, oh, I can't find a hot tub. Well, I need a hot tub. I need to warm up. Really? You know, it, it's just not Bengals having are going, some what the hell is Sepulveda? that you used to have. La Cienega? Wait, what are these streets? <laughs> the irony is this, though. But the Bengals are doing... the home team, so yeah. I think, and I could be wrong, I think the Bengals are in actually the Rams' no, locker room. No, and I said that. They so, would be in the guest <laughs> locker room. Well, like, it's not even weird, but I think, are we not giving the Rams are going to have to go through some stuff this week too. I don't want to not give credit to the stuff yeah. that they're going to have to face. They're going to be facing the same distractions. You're home. You have more friends here. More people are going to want to go to the game. More people are going to want tickets potentially. You still have to deal with media. You have to do media yeah. night. You have Fair. media availability. Mm-hmm. You're completely taken out of your like like ha- creatures of habit thing. It's completely different for both teams. Well, Kay, I've been here and I've enjoyed myself. I've been here since Saturday, and I was just telling y'all like. I, I go to the hotel, I yeah. go to work, go to the hotel, go eat, go to the hotel, and I'm, I'm, and I'm, and I'm always kind of confined in the hotel. That's what right. I don't like about it, right? I can get out, I, I can mm-hmm. walk around a little bit, but it's not fun. But if I lived here, I got friends, I got people I know. You I got, got your places kids I, I, with I you. Frequent. You got your kids, your family. Yeah. That, con- that comfort f- for a lot of the players is not what the Bengals are getting. Yes, they're getting it, but it's in tight in a hotel room. It's just, to me, I, I like, I like the normalcy of things. So, you think it yeah. can make a difference in this game? I think it makes game? a huge difference.